Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Irene Tessico, your student life coach for your success here in Canada. If you are an international student, then probably you're also thinking of becoming a PR. And there are different ways or pathways on how you can become a PR. Either it's an express entry or provincial nominee program. However, the famous one is the express entry due to its fast processing and more pre can draw. Just recently, there's a new announcement regarding the new NOC system for 2022 which would gladly affect the application for PR and specifically the impact on international students. First, what is NOC? NOC is a national reference of occupations here in Canada. This classification is used for economic programs like the Experts Entry, the Provincial Nominee, the Atlantic Program, and there's a lot to say. What is the importance of NOC and why international students should worry about this? First, the NOC classification would define if you'll be eligible for Express Entry. Let's say you have a NOC B job, which is like a supervisor then there will be a chance that you'll be able to apply for a Canadian experience class in which you need to have a Canadian experience for one year and you have studied in Canada for additional points. So basically, the current NOC system has four categories. That is the NOC 0, NOC A, and NOC B. So even if you have graduated your studies, you have finished your studies here in Canada, and your job is NOC D, then probably you'll not be eligible for express entry unless you'll have an employer to support you for your provincial domain. For your information, every 10 years, the NOC levels are being changed. Now, instead of skill levels, the new NOC system will organize occupations based on training, education, experience, and responsibilities, or in short, tier. T E E R. Skill type 0 will be equivalent to tier 0. Skill level A will be equivalent to tier 1 and tier 2. Skill level B will be equivalent to tier 3. Skill level C will be equivalent to tier 4. And the addition that tier 5, in which Currently, we don't have with the current system. Now, let's understand further what are these NOC changes. The tier 0 are, of course, still the highest, which includes the managers or management. Tier 1 is a completion of university bachelor's degree or previous experience or expertise in a subject matter from tier 2. Tier 2, you should have at least completion of a post-secondary program at a community college of about 2 to 3 years, which is probably what you have taken here in Canada as an international student. If you finish your post-secondary of less than 2 years, then you will fall under tier 3. Tier 4 is at least completion of secondary school and tier 5 doesn't have educational requirement. What's the impact of this on applicant? If before there's only NOC 0AB for you to be eligible for express entry, under the new system, occupations eligible for express entry will be on tier 0, 1, 2, 3. So there's four categories now. Aside from that, there are new 16 eligible occupations which is not eligible before at the 2016 NOC. And that includes this list. So, if you are an international student and you are planning to come here to Canada, and if you believe one of your skills or one of your careers before is related to these new occupations or even other occupations that are listed, then you may really consider of coming here to Canada because you might also be eligible for permanent residency. But of course, if you are not sure on how to do it, always consult an immigration consultant because they will guide you on the proper way or which pathway is eligible for you. If you want to come here to Canada as a student and probably be a PR soon, then you may want to email me at info at unistudyca.com and I can probably help you in finding a university which does not require IELTS or WAVE admission fees or if you just wanted to know which programs will be eligible for you and if there's any other things that you need, message me and I can try my best to help you. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!